come back to this one info and if you are new to my channel can you hit the head X, subscribe button and turn notification but for more future updates like this so in this short tutorial i want us to look at how to uh, create http custom for export it to their cloud and import it into the app and use okay it's a very simple decision okay so let's j quickly jump into it so let's go to this ssh website so uh, first of all let's go to this one info.com okay where we've compiled a list of ssh website that you can use for your this thing for your uh, files you can use to create your files okay so you scroll down let's scroll down to the address mm -hmm. okay. okay so here you click on the top leg this in okay you scroll down so this are this is the list so you just choose the one that works for you okay so me what i prefer is this one okay so let's click on it so on their home page you scroll down so we are going to use this one web socket okay so click on create and then you come and choose your server so we have australia we have brazil and other servers down there so let's select australia so after selecting the server you come to the next and you come and click on create so here you fill in the details so the first one is the username and the second one is the password okay so you scroll down small then you, you check this button I understand everything so when you come and click on create i have a tutorial on how to create a, a an, an http custom file okay mm -hmm. so it's over here so scroll down small then you check i'm not a robot scroll down small again you click on confirm request so after click on confirm request you wait for some seconds for it to be for the account to be generated so this is the account so let's copy the username the host name and the password Also, and so for the for the payload and the proxy, I have everything in my this in. Uh, after watching my this, how to create the uh, HTTP custom file on my channel, is everything is there. So when you go to my blog, that is the this one info.com, you find everything over there. So this is the tutorial on uh, on the HTTP custom. So if you need the uh, payload, just scroll down to the button. Of the edition of the post so this is the complete tutorial on how to create the SSA HTTP injector injector file can here you see the payload okay so this is the payload this is the payload this is the payload and this is the proxy okay come and copy everything and paste it in the VPN so now we are on the VPN okay so we click on the three lot dots at the top here they clear settings you clear it to the default design. then you come and import everything like everything you see in the in the tutorial on how to create this, this injector do everything here okay and make sure the file is connected so at this point just make sure everything is set okay mm -hmm. your SSH everything is set okay so after watching the tutorial you get to know how to create the file yourself so let's go to how to import it so how to import it now how to export it into the cloud design so you come and click here this paper sign okay then you choose export export config okay then here the normal way of exporting it you type your name so this one info okay then you check this one the protocol type ssh click on it then you come and lock it that's if you don't want anyone to see your credentials okay you lock it good then you come to extra this button this side you click on it then you come in if you don't want rooted devices to to maybe use it you can check it 
then you come to attest this one or oh, you come to this one you check it okay mm -hmm. so after everything cross check that everything is okay if everything is okay then here too if you want to deliver a message to your people maybe if you want to maybe you write a message like maybe if you want to learn how to create your own file you can maybe te uh, test me or dm me on this number okay or follow my telegram channel so so and so over there so from there you come and click on this button okay click on it then you choose save to cloud this particular one click on it then you come to this side export config click on it okay so here we are going to choose the normal way or the after the person is done importing it the the file will burn the person will be able to import it again or get access to it again or you can set a decent an expiry date so maybe from the day that you created the file the validation date maybe it will expire in a week time so we set it from a week any this one is supposed to be in minutes okay because okay let's select it so if you want to export it uh, maybe on the onto the cloud yeah you have to put it in minutes maybe you have to type the minute so let's say we want it we want to make it a uh, how do you call it uh let's say uh, uh two days two days so 60 minutes okay 60 minutes times what 48 hours okay 60 minutes times 48 hours to give you a uh, 200 and 200 and something uh this in many a uh, 2000 and something minutes okay uh, and that way so if you want to make it one week so 60 60 minutes times what uh, uh, a, a day is some, so just do the calculation yourself okay then know the minute i think a week will give us a week will give us 10,080 uh, minutes okay that's for a week 10,080 minutes okay so if you want maybe the file the validation date is let's say a week so here in the minute if you want to type the minute you can make it 10,000 and what uh, 80 minutes that's for the week minute for a week okay that's how we go about it and if you want to if you want a straight whereby maybe after the person is done importing it the the file or the file or the link will expire automatically that one you can choose the second one or if you want it to be there as the normal one can import it and all that you can choose the normal one okay it's very simple so let's export it let's export it with the normal so after clicking the export you wait for some seconds so these things will come here okay so you choose any of them any of the links that's the link that you use to import the file okay so make sure you don't clear them you can copy any of them somewhere okay so in future if you want to import them then you use them okay so let's use the first one you can decide to you can decide to click on copy this one it will copy all of them automatically but you just need one for the meantime okay so let's click on the first one okay so we've copied it we've copied the first one now let's click on okay and let's go back into the interface of the app good so now let's try importing it so if you want to import it from the cloud you come to the same way like how you were exporting it so we click on the paper sign over there then you come to import config okay click on it then here we are importing it so we come to cloud config okay that's where you exported it to okay so we click on it then here the url the link that i said you have to copy after you are done exporting it you come and paste the link over here so click to paste okay so after pasting it you come in sorry so after pasting it you come and click import config okay good so after clicking on it it will automatically what uh, import it and you see the message at the bottom there uh, successfully imported config so this is how to go about it. it's very simple okay so after clicking after importing it you can just click on start to check the connectivity okay so let's wait and see whether it will connect or not but everything was done perfectly so it has to connect so it is connected so this is how to go about it. it's very simple
okay it's very simple okay so guys so if like i said if you're new to my channel can you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification for more future apps like this okay thank you very much